Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to Daily Drawing number 37. Today we're revisiting an old daily drawing, daily drawing number 4, which was this wolf head. Basically, my friend wanted a wolf head design on a t-shirt that he took to a paint party where you just throw paint at each other. And it looked really cool, so he wanted to make the t-shirt into something really cool. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to draw onto the t-shirt with some fabric markers. Let's get into it. So first we're just going to cut up um, the old, an old printout of my design because it's so much easier to like just draw on the outline onto the t-shirt and fix it up than to draw the whole thing again and worry about the proportions and stuff. So I'm just going to cut it out and then do the outline quickly and then fix it up afterwards as I'm doing right here. Uh, so that just makes it a lot easier than drawing it straight away. Instead of straight again, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. What am I saying? Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Let's continue. <laughs> Alright, well we're this far done and unfortunately the bloody pen ran out of ink. And this is all I did with it, so that ink is not, not really long lasting in the Sharpie stained fabric markers. So instead, they don't sell, sell those like by a single pack, so I had to buy uh, another one. Just another single fabric marker by Sharpie. Hopefully it's the same thing, um, but it doesn't justify buying a whole new pack there. So, my only concern is if the colour is slightly different, but it should be good. So let's get into it. And for this next part, I'm just going to continue fixing up the design. Um, I found that the pen didn't actually make much, too much of a difference, like the ink was just like slightly different colour, a slightly deeper colour, but apart from that it was basically the same and it was actually easier to use. Uh, on the front pocket here uh, he wanted a little design so I'm just going to do a cloudy full moon because the moon kind of ties into the, to the wolf and werewolf kind of theme there. And for this, to do all the splashes and things like that that he wants, I'm just going to take a pen and I'm going to force all the ink down into the lid and then just kind of flick it on. Uh, you can do this as well by just grabbing the pen and flicking it as well. Just make sure you have a whole heap of rags and blankets and stuff so you don't get ink everywhere over your floor or carpet. That's a handy hint. As you can see in these slow, these like close-up, sorry, um, that's not much ink coming out, just a little bit, but enough to make it look cool. For this one we're using a purple one, the last one was a blue. And the only difference is the colour really, the same technique, um, yeah. And don't forget mad pen skills, you need to use mad pen skills to do this. I swear that's not quickened up either. Uh, we're just going to add in the final pink colour which turned out to be the best colour. And here we go, that's the finished design. Um, as you can see, it's a little faded, but I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, you can't really get it completely black on fabric because it's a difficult texture to draw on and difficult to get it in between all the weaves and stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had fun doing this this fabric t-shirt design. Thank you for watching Daily Drawing number 37. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was a cool project that I haven't done before and it was really cool. And I should start making t-shirt designs. Let me know in the comment section below if you want some t-shirt designs as well in the future on my online store when I set that up eventually. Bye for now, but not forever. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook or click to see a random video below. I'll catch you down the road.